my family were killed and I am alone, a woman came to me offering a better life and asked me if I'd go with them. She then pushed me into the car with the promise of safe passage to a better life. Instead I was taken to a seedy location and then they brought two boys to me. They showed me a knife and beat me and then the boys raped me over and over again. They made me sleep with several men a day and sometimes a few men at a time. They gave me drugs to numb the pain. After a few months, I somehow managed to escape. I have lost the will to live. Women here have lost interest in living. The future is very bleak for us. We have no husbands or fathers to take care of us and we have no money. People come here promising us jobs and income, but we don't know who to trust, as so many women have gone missing. The stories we have heard frighten us all. We have no one to talk to or advise us. I am depressed and feel very alone. I am Ajuma's aunt. She lives with me. We were forced out of our village, which was burnt down. Women were raped and children were killed. We came here for safety. It's upsetting as my niece Majuma was smuggled out of the camp and promised work. She was forced to work as a maid with no pay for months and was mentally and physically abused. She managed to escape but her 12-year-old sister Ismat never returned. We don't know where she is but we know she was sold by traffickers into the brothels. Many women and young girls are lured by traffickers and we never know what happens to them. Having faced horrific abuses, traffickers are now targeting and exploiting vulnerable people. Women are being enticed into dangerous situations with false promises of a better life, then only to be sold into the sex industry with no hope of return. Forgotten women are tackling the issues of trafficking by setting up a safe centre specifically for women which will give them a voice, provide information, community support, referral services and psychosocial counselling. One of its most important roles will be to raise awareness and educate these women and girls about the dangers within the surrounding camps so they don't fall into these traps.